He's one of the most successful hedge fund managers on Wall Street today. His name, Stephen A. Cohen, the Connecticut-based multi-billionaire whose firm SAC is entangled in a massive insider trading investigation. Cohen isn't charged in the case. His name isn't even mentioned in the complaint. But the arrest of former SAC portfolio manager Matthew Martoma has attracted worldwide attention. And experts say it's no secret who the government is really gunning for, Stephen A. Cohen himself. If the government could flip Mr. Martoma, they have a very good chance of being able to prosecute Mr. Cohen successfully. Martoma is charged with an alleged scheme netting $276 million for SAC, a scheme prosecutors call the most lucrative case of insider trading ever uncovered. Ordinary investors were cheated, the market was corrupted, and the rule of law took a back seat to illegal profit. According to prosecutors, Martoma received inside information about secret Alzheimer drug trials conducted by drug makers Wyeth and Elon. They say SAC bought massive stakes in the firms when those trials looked promising and dump shares when the trials ran into problems. Most problematic for Cohen, late July 2008. July 20th, prosecutors say Martoma emails his hedge fund manager, assumed to be Cohen, and writes, quote, it's important that we speak. The two men speak for 20 minutes over the phone. And July 21st, according to the complaint, SAC traders begin dumping Elon and Wyeth shares and shorting their stock. I've read the complaint. I've read the FBI uh, investigators' report. It is pretty damning. Some say the case strikes at the heart of the SAC mystique, how Cohen gets his eye-popping returns. Stephen A. Cohen has made himself a multi-billionaire by consistently beating the market by wide margins. I mean, the returns that he's had year after year after year, 50, 60 percent, people always scratch their head and say, how can he do that? He must not, he must be cheating in effect. SAC says, quote, Mr. Cohen and SAC are confident that they have acted appropriately and will continue to cooperate with the government's inquiry. Former SAC employees have been charged with insider trading before. Three have pleaded guilty. But experts say Martoma, a 38-year-old family man, poses the biggest risk ever to Cohen. This is the standard Department of Justice playbook. You find an intermediary and you give the intermediary a very stark choice. Either plea bargain and name someone else higher up in the food chain or face very long sentences here as much as 15 years or more. Martoma has so far refused to cooperate, but pressure on him to do so in the coming days will clearly be intense. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.